now is a very special time for Zelda fans. With the launch of Tears of the Kingdom, the latest installment to the Legend of Zelda franchise, fans are rejoicing at the successful launch of the game. For a lot of us, it just seemed like it was the game that was never going to release, and by the time it was 9 p.m., May 11th, I was at GameStop in line ready to receive my own copy of the game. I was one of the lucky people that was able to snag a pre-order for the Collector's Edition, and I also got the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom OLED Switch Special Edition. I really wasn't planning on purchasing the OLED model, it didn't seem like I had to have it, and nothing was wrong with my current Switch. I usually play my Switch docked, so the upgrade for the handheld screen didn't really make much sense for me. But I ended up being at the store the same day the OLED model came out, and I saw the console in the case, and I just knew I was done for. <laughs> I've never actually owned a Zelda Special Edition console before, and the Zelda franchise and I go back all the way to 2002. I usually preferred plain consoles over the Special Editions, up until I bought my dream new 3DS XL. It's the Happy Home Designer Edition that released in Australia and Japan, and I even made a video about it, and I'll link it here if you want to check it out. So for me, as someone who loves this franchise dearly, this is a special moment for me of finally opening up a Zelda Special Edition. And to go with it, I'll be unboxing the Collector's Edition for Tears of the Kingdom. I don't want to keep rambling on about how special Zelda is to me and how excited I am to finally own these and to finally have them out and in my hands, so let's just go ahead and get started and see what's inside, even though we all know what's inside. <laughs> so first I'm going to start out with the OLED console. I was actually pretty surprised like how small the box is as compared to like what I remember opening from just like the standard Switch model box that came out in like 2017. Right away I knew I wanted to keep these Joy-Cons and stick them on a shelf. I don't want to use them. I don't want them to get drift. I, I don't want the white to be like a yellow color and no longer be white and so I need to find a way to display these somehow like on a shelf that will keep them looking clean and bright and beautiful. Also I love that you can see the little spiral circles only like at a certain lighting angle. The dock is beautiful, um, I think that's the general <laughs> consensus on it. It is, it is a charm, it's a gem. She's beauty, she's grace, and along with it came just like, you know, the standard switch setup stuff, the power cable, HDMI cable, the Joy-Con grip. So the sad thing about my collector's edition is when it arrived, the seal on the bottom was already opened. Someone was going to open it, tried opening it, I don't know. And the star of the show. I'm opening this collector's edition like a week after the game had already came out. When I went to GameStop, I just bought a solo physical copy because I didn't have the patience to wait for my collector's edition to get delivered. <laughs> Is that excessive? Obsessive? No, it's Zelda. And here's the infamous art book. I'm not gonna flip through it just for spoiler purposes.
And here's the steel artwork. Not too sure where I'm going to put any of this just yet. I still can't believe the game is already out. I'm so used to like having that feeling of looking forward to Zelda and oh when the game comes out and now the game's out and I'm like I, m my brain can't even fathom that it's released. Well, there you guys have it, my unboxing of the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition and the OLED Switch model. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, let me know down in the comments. I hope you all are enjoying Tears of the Kingdom as much as I am. I'm Maddie, the Hippie Hacker, and I will catch you all next time. Bye!